thanks for being here again. Today, I want to begin in the Jewish scriptures in Psalm 128, verse 5 and 6, and speak about the promise of God's blessing. And this is part of a psalm that talks about the happy home of the faithful people. And this is how it goes. Uh, this is the end of the psalm. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Now, this is part of what are called the Song of Ascents. Remember, Psalms are songs, the Jewish songbook. And as the people would go to Jerusalem for the various feast days, as they traveled up to Jerusalem, they would sing these various songs as they ascended to the holy city. And this is part of one. They're singing a blessing upon each other and upon all those going up to the city. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem. May you see your children's children. That's a long life with many grandchildren and that you get to enjoy them. Peace be upon Israel. And those are reflections of the blessings of the Lord. Now, when we get to the new covenant in the gospel, according to John, Chapter 10, verse 10. Listen to this verse. Now, this verse is Jesus speaking. And he says, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it abundantly. So the thief here um, is a reference to evil and evil that comes in our lives and specifically very often the scriptures especially the new testament more than the old gives an anthropomorphic twist to evil by naming evil as the devil or satan or the evil one and I believe that's a, a representation of evil forces that come into our lives. But what happens when something bad comes to us is exactly what he said. It will steal, uh, not necessarily our possessions, but maybe our joy, maybe our health, maybe a loved one is taken from us to kill and destroy. But here's the blessing. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and have it abundantly. We can rely on these promises of the Holy One in our Bible. We can know in our own lives the blessings of God. If we just begin to Give thanks for every good thing every day as it happened to us. We'd probably even be amazed ourselves at the many blessings we receive every single day in this life. So I hope today that as you think about your life, that you'll think about all of the blessings that we have. I know that each one of us has different issues or problems that we face, and some of them are really devastating. But along with those, there is always blessing. And if we will focus on the blessing, focus on the goodness of God in our life, this blessing will lift our spirits and help us to cope each day. Well, I hope you can join with me again tomorrow. 
Have a good one, and I'll see you then.